Have you been the victim or the subject of a smear campaign in your life? Have you had narcissistic people or toxic people talking behind your back, things that aren't true, exaggerations, twisted truths, anything to make you look bad to a group of people or to other people in your life so that that narcissistic person can take power, have control, or manipulate things so they're the good guy, you're the bad guy. Have you had that happen? It is one of the more hurtful things that can happen because it takes away your community. It takes away your support. It removes all of the external resources that you have in your life in order to stay safe and still and have a bit of sanity when you're around toxic people. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from and transform your life after toxic relationships and narcissists in your life. Why do they do it? Well, they do it to keep supply flowing in their direction while they take you down. Because if you reveal the truth of who they are, if you reveal the truth of a situation, if you reveal any truths, that narcissist goes down. And then what? Then you have an, a deflated narcissistic injury narcissist sitting there boohooing that they don't have supply. All right. The narcissistic person is cunning and clever in maintaining power. They're cunning and clever in making sure they look good and squeaky clean and everyone else is the problem or you are the problem. If you were with that narcissistic person and you tried to leave, if you've done something that they don't agree with, if they feel their power slipping, if they are jealous of you, if they are, if you work with them and they are trying to manipulate things for power instead of working together, there's all kinds of reasons a narcissist will smear. When the narcissist is smearing, what they do is they start pulling on the, the most vulnerable threads they can find. They'll find people around them who are very compassionate, sensitive people with high levels of empathy and low levels of investigational skills. They will, you know what I'm saying, right? People who are so compassionate and they believe the most tragic story before they investigate the whole big picture. They will find people who are emotionally dysregulated or emotionally toxic themselves or have tendencies to not be able to control or regulate their emotional reactions. And they do this because then they have like a cheering squad, right? Then they have people to do the dirty work. They will pull in, so with the empathic person, they have people to show how amazing they are because everyone knows, you know, this sweet, compassionate person is sweet and compassionate. And if they like the narcissist, well, then the other person may must be the problem. And they, they take the emotionally dysregulated people and they rile them up, they fire them up, they light the fire, they stir the pot, as we've called it, right? And they those people go out and start spreading the toxic lies and all of the smearing they're the they're the smearers of the crap okay and they don't even care they do it because it feeds their need for being important in someone else's life and having a cause having reason thinking that they're being helpful whatever it is but they're dysregulated and they are people who probably need um some help in their life and they are taking this and using it for themselves they're either toxic or they're people that are severely um, codependent or needing the approval of that narcissistic person and they're believing the narcissistic person right they're believing everything they're saying or else they wouldn't be doing it or they're toxic themselves and they don't care they just love the juicy gossip and there's the next person they'll draw in the gossip they'll draw in the person that loves the dirt okay and that person will go and verbally draw more people in that are just like this they will draw in the innocent next the innocent bystanders the people that don't know one way or the other and they will preload a narrative against you right in order for these innocent people to turn on you before they even know you all right this is this is the dynamic of it they will draw in people from the past 
who have had againstments towards you or, 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 or whatever it is, or againstments towards something that maybe something you believe in that is twice and three times removed, <laughs> right? They will draw in in order to smear you. We're going to stop here. And I want you to let me know if you've experienced any of this, if you've seen any of this, and what it feels like for you to be experiencing it. If you need anything related to coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in the main description of every video. And I will be back next time. You guys take care. Bye-bye.